Oh, great. Make him scarier, sure. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DNA Design DK46 Studio Series Rise of the Beast Scourge Upgrade Kit. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at... The packaging right up front here. We got Scourge just looking beautiful. Look at that beautiful face it is. DK46 SS101 Upgrade Kits. That's, that's, that's correct. That's the correct way to do that. Anyway, on this side, DK46. On this side, DK46. Up top, DK46. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, your obligatory product shots. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have the upgrade kit for Studio Series Rise of the Beast Scourge. And this is everything you get with the kit. And we'll run through all of it real quick here. So, first thing we get is a new, more screen accurate head and neck section here, which looks quite nice in my opinion. They did a good job there. Looks quite good. Uh, we do also get this new kind of neck slash kind of chest piece here. That's some, just some side pieces that will just kind of fill out his chest a little bit more. So you got some that little scuffing, little weathering paint work going on there. Uh, we get a new right forearm and hand here. Here with the kind of scuffing, weathering detail, and you have a new hand with wrist rotation. You got articulated fingers, articulated thumb that can move up and down. That's pretty nice. We got a new claw hand right here. Again, with a little scuffing on there. The claw now has an extra hinge right here, so now you get a little bit more posability out of that claw. You can see you get some orange painted on the inside. Uh, one thing you can do is you can kind of lock the claw in place. You can see on two of these claws, you have little tabs and you have slots on either side here, so you can kind of bring these up and just kind of Lock the claw in place if you don't want it to spin. That's a case of up to you. Tell you what you want to do. But hey, it's an option. Options. They're good. You know how it is. So we get a new claw there. We also get the uh, little doohickey that he stuck on Air Razor that jacked her up. So and you can drop it as well. But <laughs> you get that also. So you can you know, do some reenactments. Uh, we get a little side thigh pieces here and that's just going to kind of bulk him out a little bit we get a booty plate because he needs booty augmentation why not dare i say why not we get some little thigh pieces here you know with that weathering a little bit of silver in there as well so we get two of those and we get these shin pieces here they're both exactly the same there's not a left or a right so I can just show you one, but again, they got the weathering paint on there, a little bit of silver. And last but not least, we get a new arm blade, and this looks gorgeous. Look at that transparent orange blade with the silver. I like how the orange kind of goes into the silver also. Very nice. That looks really good. Really, really good. And that is everything you get with the kit. So let's bring in the scourgiest of scourges and uh, show off how all this gets installed. And here we have Scourge, and we have to do a bit of prep work here. We have to pretty much, uh, we gotta, we gotta kind of rip him apart a little bit here. So first thing we do is just gotta rip off this head, put that off to the side. This arm here, we don't need this one anymore, so we can rip that off. Put that off to the side, we don't need that. Um, we have to disassemble a couple things. We'll do this first. So we're gonna disassemble this forearm because this is gonna get replaced. And there's just two screws. So undo these two screws. And once you've taken those screws out, you just take the forearm apart here. And, oops, drop him flat on his back. That's not part of it, but anyway. Just take this, put this off to the side. We don't need that anymore. And now we need to just drop this down because we need to access these two screws right here. So we're going to undo these, and once you've taken those two screws out, uh, make sure that these wheels here are untabbed. And you should be able to, oh, so I'll untab, untab the arms here, free that up, and you should be able to just pull this whole chest section off. And 
we're left with this. That's kind of sad. Don't worry if we're going to put them back together. But uh, there's still a little bit more we have to do with this. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to take these wheel sections off. And they're just on pegs. You just give them a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And I'll just come right off. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There you go. Comes right off. And this bit here, we don't need anymore. We can just put that away. So now we can start rebuilding. So we're going to take these wheels and put them onto this new piece here. Again, they just slide right onto those posts. Take this here. And just slide that on to that post, like so. And just kind of, these are on sliders also, so you can pull these out and just get everything around. Swing that around, swing that around. Get that in place. So now we have this new chest assembly here. And now we're going to take all this and put it right back where it was. Get make sure those arms are out of the way. I'll just plug right back in where it was. You can tab these wheels back here where they were. There we go. And now it's just a case of taking the screws and putting them back in. Putting them back in. And now, you know what we do? You know what we do? And now, whisk it in! And there you go. Once you have that nice end and snuggened back up, you can really tap this chest piece back on. You can now tab his arms back in, tab that backpack back into place, get everything in there, and you can see now, once you have these pulled out all the way, there you go. Now you just get some little kind of filler pieces here, just fills out his side some, gives him some extra detail. I think that looks pretty good. And now we're going to put on his new uh, right forearm here, so just slip that on. Just, you know, drop things all over the place. Just make sure the hand is sandwiched together thusly. And this does come with its own screws, so make sure you use those. And get the screw in. And the new claw hand is just a simple case of, just plug it on. Just pop right on, like so. And now for the legs, you want to take... Uh, this piece here, and this will go into this slot right here in the side. And you just pop that in. If you want to use glue for these, you totally can, because sometimes they do want to pop out when you're messing with them. So if you want to make sure they never come out, just add a little dab of glue. But you just put those right there. Then you bring in these pieces right here. There is a left and a right. They can only go on one way, and they just slide in from the inside. And you just pop the one in, and again, these pieces, if you want to make sure they stay in, maybe add a little dab of glue. You just slot those in, like so, and those will beef out his legs. And now these new shin pieces will just go over this tab right here. Just take that, and just plug that on, take that, and plug that on, and you got that going on. And the most important upgrade, in my opinion, I don't know why nobody mentioned this, the booty! That's right. Just tabs right on. There you go. Now he has a lovely augmented booty. Hooray for booty upgrades. And the air razor jacking device, that's what I call it, just uh, goes right over this peg here for storage. Hooray for storage. I like that. And we can give him his blade here. He can still hold it in his hand, if that's something you want to happen. It's a thing that can still happen. Uh, but what you are meant to do with it is there is a little, little T-slot right here. So you just slide it in and then pull it down. That locks it into place. And there he has his arm blade. That looks really good. And lastly but not leastly, we just pop on his new head. And here we have our kitted out Scourge. And um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Now, one odd choice here that they made was... I, I, I did find it weird that they decided to match 
this color plastic instead of this color plastic. So at first, this color difference was really throwing me off, but now it's actually grown on me, and I, I think it looks actually pretty good now. Um, I see what they were going for, so, you know, that may not vibe with everybody, but, you know, it's it's grown on me, and I do kind of dig it now, but that's getting close here, so we can take a look at this new noggin. There we go, there's a new noggin, just to take a nice closer look at it. Again, looks really good, in my opinion, and yes, you can pull the mask off and see that lovely lovely face of his look at that face look at it <laughs> but nicely done though nicely detailed i think it looks pretty good looks pretty good so we can do that just pop the mask back on and again we got these little side filler pieces it kind of fills in some of the hollowness gives some extra detail i like what's going on with the forms again i thought it was weird with the colors that they decided to use but like i said it's grown on me now again i know it's not going to vibe with everybody but it's grown on me i dig it now got the new claw because you're scared of the claw you can do that now you can spin it Whee! spinny claw and you can see we got his legs bulked out again if you don't want these pieces in particular to fall off i would definitely recommend just putting a little dab of glue on them these pieces hold on just fine they tab right in they tab in pretty securely so again, just adding a little bulk, adding a little bit more screen accuracy. Of course, the upgraded booty, the best upgrade ever. And this makes the kit worth it by itself, honestly, really. I mean, come on. You needed that more than anything, but oh no, not too shabby. And if you want, you can reenact the jacking of Air Razor here with the Studio Series version. And this will just clip right on here. And voila, now you can jack Air Razor. Hooray for traumatizing events. And you can still store the cannon back here. The new booty plate does still have a slot for the cannon to plug into. So you still have your storage. Hooray for storage. And if you are opting to use the cannon arm for your display, you can still store this new arm here. You're just going to use this tab. And there's a slot for it right back here. So you can just have that hanging off his back because, hey, you know, I can have a little spinny thing. A little spinny booty claw thing because why not dare i say why not so that is basically it for the robot mode so let's get down to transformation shall we let's okay so a couple different things we have to do here one is we need to remove the arm blade so just pull it up and just get that out you can fold this in half like so just tap together so it's nice, neat, and compact. Put that off to the side. Uh, you want to take this hand and you want to rotate it. 180, so it's like that. And you want to take this arm and you want to rotate it at the bicep. You just want to rotate it in 90 degrees. So it's sitting like that. Now, when you're transforming the upper body, I mean, you're doing a lot of things pretty much the same way. Just open that up. Open this up. Okay, just extend all that, just kind of get all that out of your way, untap the arms, and just bring them back, get them out of the way, because now a new thing we have to deal with is these new pieces here. So, what we need to do is, now the instructions just say to, <laughs> they say push this away, this front grill piece, because um, yeah, it does pop off. So I think they're just basically telling you, like, just kind of get this out of the way so you can rotate this up, or just take it off altogether. So you can just rotate that part up. Then you can plug it back in, and then we can undo stuff. So just undo the chest, bring that out to the side, and swing this up. So as you're swinging it up, you can see this part kind of gets in the way now. So what you have to do is you have to bring it down, slide it in, and that will get it out of the way of the wheel, so you can bring that the rest of the way up. Then you just bring that down, and it will sit in there like that. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of bring that up halfway, bring that out. Slide that in, and that will give you the clearance to now rotate that up, bring that down, and get that in there. Once you've done that, you can pretty much transform everything exactly as you did before. Okay, so we got most of this together. I just wanted to show you what you're supposed to be looking at when you have things in place. This side of the arm is the side you want facing out. The instructions are very specific about that, so you want that side of the arm facing out. You can see how these bits just kind of tuck in right there. 
you can see what's going on. And of course, now we can just close this up as we did before and get that all in place. Now the legs are transforming pretty much the same. The only difference now is you have these pieces here that you're just going to merp, merp, fold down, and that's done. And there you go. There you have Scourge in his old mode. Yeah, sorry. Best bit we can get out of him. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it doesn't do a whole lot for the alt mode. It just kind of really just kind of bulks things out back here a little bit more, but nothing really drastic going on. I mean, we still got the claws and the hands just kind of sticking out back there, so that's no different. So uh, yeah. The kit really is more so to make the robot mode look better than the truck mode. The truck mode is not supposed to look all that elegant anyway, so hey, we've maintained that. But now, what do we do with these weapons? Well, I'm going to show you. So what they want you to do with the cannon now is to uh, store it between his legs, basically. So you just kind of take it and just kind of wedge it in between there. And, you know, it does hold. You know, again, not the most elegant thing, but it holds, you know. It still rolls, as rolling things should, so it doesn't affect that. Again, not the most, you know, locked-in feeling in the world, but, you know, I mean, it doesn't fall out, say. It would have been nice if they had given us just an alternate connection point back here for that, so we can still kind of maintain that look, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, as far as the, uh, the arm blade here, they just want you to just kind of sit it kind of in his hand here. Just kind of drop it in there, like that. Again, it's not locking in anywhere, it's just kind of like... <laughs> the instructions literally literally just say, just place the weapon in. Like, it's just... So just drop it in there as best you can. Something like that. There is kind of a, there, there is kind of a point where it does kind of, not lock in, but it does feel a little secure-ish. Like right there, that seems to be kind of a sweet spot. So, there you go. There's your weapon storage. <laughs> Hooray for storage. So there you have the upgrade kit for Rise of the Beast Scourge. And it's a decent kit. Um, Is it 100% necessary? Eh. I like the more screen accurate head. I do like the new forearms. The arm blade I love. I think it's gorgeous. Um, You know, the leg pieces, eh, you can take them or leave them. The new butt plate is essential. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care what anybody says. I do wish they'd come up with better ways to store the weapons in the alt mode as opposed to just, you know, just kind of sit things there, you know, that uh, I felt like there, there wasn't too much thought put into that. So yeah, it's, it's a decent kit. Not a great kit, but a decent kit. I mean, it does what it sets out to do. And as is usually the case, I know people in the comments are going to point out that there are kits that are better, quote unquote, better, cheaper. Hey, this is an option. And as always, options are good. If you feel this option doesn't work best for you, then find the one that does. Simple as that. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of DNA Design's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out MG. Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the DNA Design DK46 Studio Series Rise of the Beast Scourge Upgrade Kit, and this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Bomb in your face!